If you can't bring the people to the theater, bring the theater to the people. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 musicals we want adapted for live TV. In all your fantasies, you always knew. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at musicals that could easily be adapted for the small screen. We won't be including musicals already in talks for a TV adaptation, like Rent, which is currently set for a 2019 staging. Number 10. Guys and Dolls Guys and Dolls is most likely the show your high school theater ensemble performed. And because of that, and the 1955 film adaptation starring Frank Sinatra and Marlon Brando, it's one of the most well-known musicals around. That makes it perfect for a live performance. With the big city backdrop of New York and memorable songs like Luck Be A Lady, it's a classic song and dance show that wouldn't be too hard to put on. Luck be a lady it also has great roles for talented actors, so we could see both big Hollywood names and Broadway actors wanting to take a crack at bringing this one to the small screen. Number 9. Little Shop of Horrors One of the quirkiest musicals out there, Little Shop of Horrors the Musical was originally based on the 1960 black comedy film of the same name. It tells the story of a mild-mannered florist's assistant who nurtures a plant that hungers for human flesh. Feed me. Does it have to be human? Feed me. Does it have to be mine? Feed me. The movie was largely forgotten until the 1982 musical came out, and later the 1986 film adaptation brought that story to an even larger audience. It seems like a good time to revisit this weird and wonderful tale again and expose it to the larger culture. Just like Fox did with the Rocky Horror Picture Show, another cult classic. We'd love to suddenly see more of this offbeat production. Sorry. Suddenly see more. Suddenly see more. If you're a fight, if you're a fight, you... Number 8. West Side Story West Side Story is a Broadway and movie classic thanks to the 1961 film, so it's long past due for it to be adapted for a live TV performance. Based on Romeo and Juliet, the story of star-crossed lovers, caught in the middle of a conflict between Puerto Rican immigrants and Caucasian Americans, is timelier than ever, given the current political climate in the U.S. Politics aside, it's also a universal story about wanting a better life and finding true love against all odds. Maria, Maria. Plus, the Stephen Sondheim and Leonard Bernstein music is one of the best musical soundtracks around. There's a place for this show, and it's on live television. Number 7. Moulin Rouge Unlike many others on the list, a musical version of Baz Luhrmann's 2001 film hasn't made it to Broadway yet. But that doesn't mean we aren't clamoring for a live performance on TV. The film, starring Nicole Kidman and Ewan McGregor, is a lush fever dream of a movie that tells the story of a doomed romance between a cabaret girl and a poet. Come on, With songs like Come What May and Your Song, the movie boasts some of the best new musical numbers since the golden age of cinema, when movie studios put out new musicals on the regular. Yours are the sweetest eyes I've ever seen. While a TV performance wouldn't be as grand as the film version, all that opulence isn't necessary when you have a story and music this good. Number 6. Beauty and the Beast Who's a super success? Don't you know that you 
With the recent live-action film adaptation, Beauty and the Beast is having a cultural moment. So why not continue to ride the wave with a live TV performance on ABC, the network Disney owns? Of the Disney musicals, this show is the most feasible to put on, unlike The Lion King which might pose as a technical challenge. And since the Broadway musical of Cinderella isn't the Disney version, Beauty and the Beast is the Mouse House's best option when it comes to TV musical adaptations. The Broadway show includes even more songs that aren't in either film version, so it would be a great opportunity for people to hear what they've been missing. Number 5. The Book of Mormon We're not sure if The Book of Mormon is fit for regular network television, but wouldn't it be cool if a cable network like HBO got into the live musical game? I believe. This show would be a perfect fit, because of its risque humor and controversial subject matter, which deals with Mormonism, missionary work, and the AIDS epidemic. Whenever something bad happens, we just throw our hands to the sky and say, Has a digger evil one. Does it mean no worries for the rest of our days? <laughs> Written by Trey Parker and Matt Stone of South Park fame, and with music by Robert Lopez, the man behind the Frozen soundtrack, there's a built-in audience who'd love to see this performed for a broader audience. What better way would there be to welcome Mormons into your home? Number 4. The Phantom of the Opera Based on the French novel by Gaston Leroux, The Phantom of the Opera is a story that we can't seem to get enough of. The original Andrew Lloyd Webber version premiered in London in 1986, and years later the show holds the record for being the longest-running Broadway show with over 10,000 performances completed as of 2012. Love me, that's all I ask of you. Because of its success, it's obvious that audiences would tune in in large numbers to see it on the small screen. Let your soul take you where you long to be. With beautiful grand songs like the music of the night and the title tune, it would be an amazing opportunity to cast a big star to show off their singing chops on live TV. Sing, my angel of music, sing for me. Number 3. Hamilton Hamilton is kind of a big deal, so a live TV performance would mean massive ratings for any network. Since the show is relatively new, and most people don't have the chance to make it to Broadway or one of the tour stops, a live TV airing would be a great way for the larger public to experience the show. And since it's American history, we think it would be a civil service to broadcast the show. We'd love to see the original cast get back together for the taping, even though Lin-Manuel Miranda's been a bit busy lately. Networks, do not throw away your shot at putting on this tour de force. Number 2. Chicago Six, squish. Uh -uh. Cicero. Lip shits. One of the sexier musicals out there, Chicago was already made pretty famous by the 2002 film starring Renee Zellweger and Catherine Zeta-Jones. But that version is pretty different from the stage version, so it would be cool to give TV audiences a chance to see an adaptation that would be more similar to the Broadway show. All I care about is love. All he cares about the Bob Fosse choreographed music gave us some theater classics in songs like All That Jazz. And as America's longest-running musical, it would be a shame to continue overlooking this one, as much as the characters in the show overlook Amos. Poor Mr. Cellophane. Mr. Cellophane, cause you can look right through me. 
walk right by me and never know I'm there. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Wicked Before Adina Menzel made Let It Go a household hit, she, along with Kristen Chenoweth, was belting out the epic duet of Defying Gravity, another song that became a misfit anthem in the broader popular culture. An alternate telling of the mythology behind Alphaba and Glinda, the two witches in The Wizard of Oz, Wicked is a fun and heartwarming tale that will capture everyone's heart. With bona fide hits like Popular and For Good, any live performance of this show would be a guaranteed hit. Bonus points to any network that could get Menzel and Chenoweth to reprise their roles. I have been changed for good. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.